Now that we understand the components of the equipment, we're going to learn how to use them to complete the speech mapping test that will allow us to verify the hearing aid fitting. There are a few steps that we're going to have to take to set up for this test. So let's switch on our Verifit and get started. Go to Tests, then On-Ear Measures, then select Speech Mapping. You can do this by pressing the buttons on the machine or by using the mouse. When you are in the Speech Mapping Test page, you will select the correct ear and then go to Audiometry. This will allow you to set up the target that you will be using. Remember, in order to get a target, we need to know what fitting formula was used, the client's hearing thresholds, plus the space the amplified sound will go into in order to create targets for gain. So first you will select which fitting formula we use to program the aid. This will usually be DSL or NAL2. You will then tell the equipment what thresholds to use, so you can choose how you obtained the threshold for the client. Most of the time, you will select headphones, but in some cases, for instance, if you tested a child, you may have used insert earphones. All this information will have an effect on the target. Next, you choose if you want to add in your BC results. You will only need to do this when there is a conductive component, as an airbone gap will result in a target that provides slightly more amplification than would be necessary for a sensory neural hearing loss. You then need to think about where the sound is going. When we program a hearing aid, the software uses a 2cc coupler as an estimate of the size of the average ear canal to create a target. But we know that a smaller ear canal space naturally provides additional amplification and so would require less gain. So when we verify the fitting, we want to use the client's real ear information to create a target that is more specific to them. In order to do this, we measure the real ear to coupler difference, or RECD, to give us an accurate indication of the client's real ear canal resonance characteristics versus the 2cc coupler information the hearing aid was most often programmed with. So we will select that we want to measure the RECD over here. Once you have this set up, you are ready to enter the necessary information and to start testing.